हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू दी मोटिवेशन मेडिकोज माई नेम इज प्रिंस तिवारी एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द हिप जॉइंट ओके इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी जस्ट हैव ओके डिस्कस अबाउट द ओके द टाइप ऑफ हिप जॉइंट एंड द आर्टिकुलर सर्फेस स्टेबिलिटी एंड द मोबिलिटी एंड द लिगामेंट एज वेल ओके इफ यू डिडेंट वॉच दिस वीडियो येट सो यू कैन चेक आई बटन एज वेल इफ यू आर न्यू एट आर चैनल सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आर चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन और इफ यू आर ऑलरेडी ओके the subscriber of our channel so you can okay hit the bell icon so you can easily get the notification of the video so so today we'll cover the okay the nerve supply of the hip joint and the movement and the clinical of the hip joint so let's okay let's come to the nerve supply of the hip joint so the nerve supply nerve supply okay of the hip joint okay so we just have a mnemonic which is f r q एस एफ आर क्यू एस सो फ्रॉम द ओके फ्रॉम द एफ ओके वी हैव अ फैमोरल नर्व फैमोरल नर्व ओके एंड फ्रॉम द आर वी हैव अ रेक्टस फेमोरस और वी कैन से नर्व टू रेक्टस फेमोरस ओके आई एम नॉट राइटिंग द फुल फॉर्म ओवर हेयर ओके बट आई एम टेलिंग यू अगेन इट्स अ नर्व टू रेक्टस फेमोरस और आई ऑल्सो मैंशन ओके over here now okay from the q okay we have a nerve to quadratus femoris because okay we have also have the quadri quad you know quadriceps muscles over here so uh okay from the another okay it was all about the what rectus femoris from the q okay we have a nerve to quadratus femoris okay and from the s okay we have a superior gluteal nerve okay now okay we'll talk about the we'll talk we'll talk about the movement so so about the movement okay we have a flexion okay flexion and extension okay flexion okay and extension movement okay we'll see okay we see in the hip joint and okay adduction and abduction ad means adduction and abduction and the medial also medial and lateral rotation okay we see in the hip joint and the lateral rotation and the last one okay or i can say the circumduction circumduction means it's you know the combination of all three okay which show the circumduction okay in the hip joint so okay so to learn the clinical of the hip joint and the relations as well okay we need to change this page okay so now we'll study the relation and after that okay we'll study the clinical anatomy so let's come to the clinical no sorry it's relation okay relations so i'm just making okay the acetabulum over here okay it's acetabulum and it's a head of femur okay which goes out okay and here okay we have a synovial okay but so it is you know attach or over the neck of the femur okay it's a synovial but so so let's consider the anatomical position so it's anterior here okay we have a anterior okay this is this side is to be a posterior and this is superior and it is inferior okay so let's talk about the superior relation so in the superior region of the hip joint okay we have a muscle okay over here okay we have a muscle yeah let me make and it is it also participate okay in posterior region as well posterior relation as well and the muscle okay it is a gluteus maximus muscle over here okay one more muscle over over here in superior relation okay 
and this is a gluteus medius muscle okay and the minimus okay it is also participate in a superior relation okay of the hip joint so it's a gluteus minimus mm. and one more muscle or you can say that uh, it is a reflected half you know reflected head of the rectus femoris okay in the superior relation and we'll also see the straight head of the rectus femoris but it would be in a anterior relation so it was all about the superior relation let's come to the anterior relation so what i told you we'll have okay right now we have a straight head of the rectus femoris over here in anterior relation okay, let's give the name first of all okay so what was that okay it's a gluteus okay maximus okay and it also participated in a posterior relation and it was the gluteus medius okay gluteus medius and okay this one okay it's a gluteus minimus okay so we have a medius minimus and maximus in superior relation and it was the reflected head of reflected head of rectus femoris rectus femoris and the straight head okay will uh, we have in a anterior relation it was what it's a straight okay straight head of rectus femoris okay we also have one more okay okay here in anterior relation okay we have a tendon of ellipsis muscle so it's a tendon of ellipsis muscle okay and one more muscle okay we we have in anterior region of the hip joint okay it's a pectineus muscle over here it's not inferior okay don't get confused it's in anterior relation and then okay we have a nerve in anterior relation okay it's a femoral nerve over here okay and we also have a vein over here this is a femoral vein okay it's a vein okay i'm making over here in anterior relation it's, i'm talking about anterior relation and okay we also have okay an artery okay in anterior relation okay it's a femoral artery okay that goes to the inferior region and gives a branch okay it goes to the inferior region as well okay let's give the name so what was that it was the okay this was okay so it was the tendon of ellipsis muscle tendon of ellipsis muscle and this is a femoral nerve okay and this is a femoral artery in anterior relation this was a femoral okay this is what femoral vein okay and we also have a muscle in anterior region it's a pectineus muscle pectineus muscle okay now let's talk about the inferior region so in the inferior region okay we have a muscle okay it's what it's a obturator externus okay here we have a muscle it's a obturator okay externus and we have a artery okay that comes from the anterior and the artery okay the name of this artery okay let me give the name okay we have a obturator externus what was that okay in inferior region we have a obturator externus sorry it's not an internus it's obturator externus okay externus muscle in inferior relation and an artery it's a it's what it's a medial circumflex femoral artery Me medial circumflex femoral artery let's talk about the posterior region so the in the posterior relation okay we also we already have the gluteus maximus okay that comes from the okay that is also the superior okay relation is in also and it is also in the posterior relation we have a okay we have one more muscle over here okay it's 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 a piriformis okay it's what it's a piriformis okay and here okay we have a 
obturator internus because here okay we have a in inferior what we have seen it's obturator externus but over here it's what it's obturator internus and gamelly obturator internus and gamelly okay one more okay muscle over here it's a quadratus femoris quadratus femoris okay and we have a okay the sciatic nerve okay in posterior relation we'll see over here it's what it's a sciatic okay nerve it's what it's a sciatic nerve okay one more nerve over here okay it's a nerve to quadratus femoris okay which supply to the okay this quadratus femoris muscle it's what it is the quadratus femoris sorry it's a nerve to quadrat quadratus femoris okay so let's give the name okay let's take the yeah. it it is also okay this muscle is also participating okay, let me make okay more over here it's what it's a gluteus maximus muscle okay don't don't get fused yes and it's a piriformis piriformis and this was the sciatic nerve sciatic nerve and this was and it is what it is the obturator internus and gamelly obturator internus and gamelly and this is the okay, quadratus femoris quadratus femoris and the muscle supply okay of this sorry nerve supply of this muscle is nerve to quadratus femoris nerve to quadratus femoris okay and the muscle of this it's a gluteus maximus okay so it was all about the relation so we just have seen the posterior relation okay anterior relation superior relation of the hip joint and the inferior now come to the clinical okay so here okay in the last okay we have a clinical so the first clinical we have it's a congenital dislocation Congeni congenital dislocation means by the birth congenital dislocation 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 it can be anterior posterior or central as well and the another one okay we have a clinical it's a perth's disease perth disease in the perth disease okay uh, the you know the head of femur gets flat or the degenerate means okay this is the head of femur okay that gets okay degenerate or okay it gets flat so in the perth disease it happened it's happened now okay now we have a clinical which is coxa vera okay and coxa valga coxa valga so to understand the coxa vera and coxa you know uh, valva okay let me have okay the diagram so you can easily understand with that diagram okay. here okay you can see the diagram it is the normal okay position okay the, to understand the coxa okay vera and valga uh, okay let's see okay it is the neck okay it is the neck of the femur and this is the shaft so here you can see okay here uh, it's let's assume okay it's a okay neck of the uh, femur and it's a shaft so it makes an angle so for the normal okay for the normal it's uh, the degree okay the this angle it's it would be or it is must okay 130 degree okay 130 degree it means okay we can say okay this one is the normal one okay this one is the normal one this is the normal it means the soft okay and the neck of the femur it, the, the angle between these okay uh, this okay it it must be 130 degrees but if it increase the angle increase or decrease so there is a clinical if it increase okay so we have a clinical that is a coxa valga 
बिकॉज द एंगल ओके एंगल द साफ बिटवीन द साफ्ट एंड द हेड ऑफ ओके सॉरी द नेक ऑफ द फेम्यूर इट इंक्रीज सो वी हैव अ क्लिनिकल इट्स कॉक्स ऑफ वेलगा कॉक्स ऑफ वेलगा ओके एंड इफ इट डिक्रीज द एंगल बिटवीन दीज ओके इट डिक्रीज सो वी हैव अ क्लिनिकल इट्स कॉक्स ऑफ वेरा सो इट वॉज ओके इट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द कॉक्स ऑफ वेरा एंड वेलगा ओके नाउ लेट्स ओके नाउ ओके वी हैव वन मोर क्लिनिकल इट्स सेंटेंस लाइन सो सेंटेंस लाइन ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेंटेंस लाइन ओके लेट मी हैव वन मोर डायग्राम ओके सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेंटेंस लाइन ओके यू जस्ट ओके यू जस्ट हैव टू सी ओके दीज ओके दिस स्ट्रक्चर ओके दिस सी ओके दिस हेयर ओके इट्स अ नैक ऑफ ओके हेयर यू कैन सी इट्स अ नैक ऑफ फेम्यूर ओके नैक ऑफ फेम्यूर and the here this is the obturator for a man here okay it's a obturator for a man and between this okay we, i i just okay made over here it's a imaginary line okay that okay superior border of okay it's a superior border of the obturator for a man along with the okay inferomedial border of the neck okay it's a inferomedial border of okay neck here okay we just okay here we can see there is a there is an imaginary line okay if there is any difference okay in uh, ima uh, imaginary line means okay there is a, a clinical so it you know it must be like this but if you can see any difference okay in x ray so it okay it would be a, a sentence line or there is a clinical maybe yeah it was a sentence line now okay let's come to the another one okay it is the fracture of the neck of femur so the fracture okay you will fracture so to understand the fractures okay uh, let me have the bone if you will see okay the it's a greater greater trunk inter okay if you will see there okay here fracture over here it's what it's a trunk entric fracture okay the name of that fracture it's what trunk entric fracture just come below over here just come down over here if you will see over here the fracture over here it means it is a trans trunkentric fracture and just come to the below over here it's what if you will see the fracture over here it's a sub trunkentric fracture so it was all about the clinical okay and the hip joint so thanks for watching this video if you like our work so please okay share our work to your friends comment okay like again okay, and subscribe our channel thank you so much